Okay, so welcome to Speed Math Lessons with AOZ Institute. Today we'll be covering lesson one, which is squaring any single number ending in five. There are three lessons that I want to cover in a very short series with you. I'll cover more later. The first lesson will be covering uh, squares that I just mentioned. For example would be 85 squared, and we'll look at how to do that in under three seconds. Lesson two will cover how to multiply two numbers that are in their teens by each other in under four seconds. And level, uh, lesson three will cover an, uh, multiplying two numbers where the first number is the same and the second number, well, the second digits, add to 10. And that'll be the third lesson, and it's an amazing trick that we'll cover, and it's how you can do such complicated maths in your head in under five seconds. So for today's lesson, we're going to look at 85 squared in three seconds. Now, remember 85 is just an example we're going to go through to look at how we square any number that ends in five. So I've got three questions for you. How would you do this problem? Would you do it the way you learned at school? And how long would that take you to do? Now, if I told you that you could do this and, and you could this by the end of this video in under three seconds, would you think it was a lie? Well, I hope not, because otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So let's just get right to it. 85 squared in three seconds. The four blanks on the page will be representative of where our answer is going to go. And we'll start with step one. So the first thing is that any time we square a number ending in five, the answer will always end in 25. So straight up, we put 25 at the end of the answer, and all we now need to figure out is the first two numbers of the problem. That comes to step two. You multiply the front number in the problem, that is the eight in the 85 squared, you can see I've underlined it there, by that number plus one. So all I mean to say is that you multiply that by number, the by the number one greater than it. So in this instance, we have eight, we would times eight by nine. So we can see here, 8 times 9 is 72. We should hopefully know our times tables. 8 times 9 is 72, and we put that at the front of the problem. So our answer is 7225, 7,225. You can do that in under 3 seconds. I want to show you right now how quick we can do that in under 3 seconds. With a couple of examples, and then I want you to practice yourself in this video. You'll see in a second. So 75 squared in three seconds. Seven times eight is 56. Five, six, two, five is our answer. Five, six, two, five. All I had to do was say, what's seven times eight? And that's 56. Well, I know the rest is 25. What about 35 squared? I want you to give that one a go. Okay, I gave you a bit more than three seconds there. I hope you've got it, but all we needed to do was say three times four. Now, if we're now on times tables, we know that three times four is 12. The rest of the number ends in 25. So one, two, two, five, or 1,225. Now I've got one more for you to practice with, so give it your best go. I'll give you, I'll give you four or five seconds to do this one, but try and do it in under three. Try and do it as quick as possible. Okay, so that's 55 squared. Did you get it? 5 times 6 is 30. 30, 25 is our answer. 3,025. And voila. So that concludes the first lesson. Now, the head representative of artofspeedmath.com, you can go there, and there's a free speed math training program. It's designed with amazing tricks, so much more than what you've seen. You've only seen the tip of the iceberg. Stuff easier, stuff slightly harder, but all amazing tricks. Anything anyone can do. And that's free in the free speed math training program. Just go to the website, you can't miss it. So sign up for it and you can download your first mini book straight away and start learning. Impress your parents, impress your friends, impress anyone you want. It's really good. It is tailored around people that are going for job interviews. You'll find that in some industries, a lot of people in job interviews actually ask really complicated speed math questions. But this is just the starting point. So there's some 
amazing resources there and there are also amazing amount of books there. There's a few books there. Uh, Art of Speed Arithmetic is a great example. Multiplying numbers in decimals. Things you've never seen before. Tricks that can make you do maths so much faster. Things that they never taught in school but they should have. And other, the other book I would recommend if you're watching this video would be Secrets of Vedic Math. Vedic Math is, I mean, just Google it. You'll, you'll, you'll see Vedic Math is a very popular form of math. It's derived from ancient India and we've written a book on it. It is completely, anyone can understand this. Your children could do this. It's such easy stuff. They could do maths that would impress their teacher. I wish I got taught this stuff at school. So for watching this video, I want to offer you 10% off everything on the website. Just type in AOSA, that's AOSA, on checkout and it wipes 10% off everything. Come back for lesson two next time and we will go over our next trick, which is multiplying two numbers that are teens. Thanks for watching.